Well, after slight technical delays, uh, probably more of major, we're back, baby. And we're going to try out some new things here. Uh, well, more or less to see if the old things are still working. Let's see how all this goes. But I figured to come back with a special edition of unboxing. Now, I received the box in the mail. Interesting enough. Thought it was for somebody else. Saw my name on it. I haven't ordered anything. Um, I don't remember anybody telling me they were going to send me anything. Identify yourself to the world. So, figured it might be a, kind of a good idea. A cool little way to retest things in my engineering department. <laughs> um, to Let's do an unboxing video on this and see what the hell is in it. What's in the box? Now, if you've kept up with my unboxing series, one thing I especially like to do is to first, let's study the box itself. All right, so it's an Amazon box. I haven't ordered anything off of Amazon in probably three months, but this shows up on the doorstep. Why are you here? So here's our box. It's got these weird grooves on it. Now, you can get in there and see that. These ledges, sort of say, which I never understood the design of that, how it sinks in for some reason. You can't just send me a normal box. Now, whatever's in here, it doesn't fill the whole box. I can feel it sliding from side to side, but it's this weird configuration of a box they feel and deem necessary to have these 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 grooves on both sides of that and then there's the lip it's got a lip on it not your traditional box that has your standard four flaps where you just boom open it up no 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 this thing is sealed like certified fucking mail why why who knows i don't think there's anything that important in here but i guess we're gonna find out I saw you with the box! What was in the box? Now, it does have the arrows here that indicate that this side up. You really think an Amazon driver, package handler at the airport, truck driver, anybody's going to keep, boom, any sides up? You think they care about the word fragile? They're going to throw your shit all over the dock, man. We're going down to but with all that said in the side, let's go ahead and open this thing. So, I'm really anxious to see what the hell is in here. I have no clue. Do it! Do it! So I guess we'll start with trying to open this lip. Now, it looks like it has a tab on it, like the certified mail would do. So we're going to try pulling that down. Oh, uh, what an experience for us to do together. We have here. The fuck is this shit? What's in the fucking box? Okay, this is interesting. I definitely did not order this. Okay, let's have a look see. We have, at our box, a Deluxe Bingo 18. What the fuck? Weird title, I guess. Why? I, I get the deluxe bingo part, but I don't get the 18. What is this? Because I'm definitely not getting the vibes of it being 18 years or older. Uh, perhaps it's the 18th version of a deluxe bingo by Regal Bingo. And this is where my problem is. I don't fucking play bingo, okay? I'm not dying in a retirement home. Um, if somebody did send me this, I'm guessing it's a gag. or some kind of joke. He's an asshole. It's definitely somebody I know because they put my actual name on the box. And it'd have to be someone I know uh, that knows where I live. Are you having a laugh? So I got a couple suspects in mind between family and friends. 
Wow. What? I... Sorry, I needed a second to just soak in the frustration because I really thought there was going to be something cool in this box. Just mystery box. Surprise, motherfucker. And this is where we get Deluxe Bingo 18. Shall we continue? Let's check out the box. Um, Alrighty then. Well, on the front of the box and on the top, we have a happy looking white family. Which seem a little off because the father has black hair and the mom, kid, and, well, mom, son, and daughter all have blonde hair. What? So I guess recessive genes are running rampant in this family. See, the father is doing the number calling. We have, um, looks like the mom and the son are messing around with a tablet. I don't know if they're messing with the bingo card, but that looks more like an iPad or some shit. And little Sally over here, she just looks like she's just happy to be there. I, I don't even think she's playing. I, I, I can't really tell. It's poorly animated. It, it's poorly illustrated. It's just... Good job, Regal. Fire your illustrators. But with construction of said box, we have our... You know, it looks like your standard flip top that has the tab that you pull out gently and it flips right up nice four sides and your bottom has its little flabby tabs whatever the fuck you want to call them this is the fuck would send me this this who are you maybe it was a mistake maybe i don't know It'd be a, that'd have to be a hardcore Amazon mistake, but if somebody else ordered this and it just ended up coming to me, you know, it's fine. They'll file their complaint with Amazon saying, I didn't get my Deluxe Bingo 18, you sons of bitches. And they're like, oh, our bad. How can we make this right? They either send you another one or refund your money. But I guess I'm the new owner of a Deluxe bingo 18 that I will never use you'll probably see this back on one of the shelves somewhere in future videos none shall interfere do as you please just because I think that'd be hilarious see how I'm trying to contain my excitement you seem agitated oh look okay 18 that I can only assume it's the 18th edition of deluxe bingo because right here it says 12 plus so it's definitely not for 18 and older and plus you get two kids on here that don't look like they're uh, illustrated to be 12 plus years old hmm regal you're lying to me oh my god stop fucking lying guess while we're here and got this thing let's go ahead and check it out Get on with it! Now in the back we get a, um, I guess their mission statement of what Deluxe Bingo 18 is supposed to do for you. The whole family can now enjoy the fun, the thrill of professional style bingo. <laughs> you serious? Professional style bingo? What exactly is professional style bingo? I mean, I've seen professional style bingos where they have a, a, a illuminated board behind the collar and yeah I got the little tumbler that your hamster should be in tumbling the balls around but professional style this is a tabletop game at best and I'm looking at a family to be fair to be fair how, ma how many families are going to professional style bingo sure why not regal <clears throat> turn the cage crank until a bingo ball slides down the chute okay so we're putting the instructions on the box now can't slide a piece of paper in here we're gonna take a look inside this in a second couldn't just throw a piece of paper in there <laughs> Call it out, then place it on the oversized, oversized, bullshit, the oversized bingo board, oversized, do you see the size of this box? In fact, 
Not sure what the standard size of a bingo board is, but the size of this box is eight inches tall. So I don't know exactly what the standard size of a bingo board is, but if over eight inches is oversized, then I got a big dick. Cards and chips included so the whole family can join in the fun right out of the box. I'm sure you'll be gravely disappointed. <laughs> you will feel the same tension, the same excitement when you score your bingo. <laughs> you mean the family's gonna feel the same tension between each other? I is that what you're saying, Regal? That <sighs> sure, why not? Whatever. But okay, that's their mission statement. Oh, what the hell ever? Mission statement, directions, combination, what the fuck ever. And it looks like this side of the box. Apparently it's showing you everything that should be included. So let's check this. Uh, it says it's supposed to contain the rotary cage with automatic random ball selector. Does that mean it's automated? It ain't automatic random ball selector. Oh, probably the little shoot down there. 75 bingo balls. We're not counting those. One master board. Mm. You know, you can't use the word master anymore because it's remnants of slithery. You can't say master anymore. But thank you, Regal. This is LCC 2012. All right. Racism. Let's see here. 18 bingo cards. Yeah, okay. Fun for the whole family. And 150 chips. Yeah, we're not counting those either. Mm -mm. No. No. So, let's check and see if this stuff is in the box. So, we we'll start with opening the flat top. And our two auxiliary flaps. All right. What's in the fucking box? And inside, let's pull out this first. This, I imagine, is our oversized master board. Is that what they call it? Yeah, that's right, the slavery board. Oversized. This is oversized. I have a tablet that's bigger than this damn thing. Whatever. Put you right there. Ah, individually packaged for her pleasure. Uh, looks like our bingo balls. Yeah, these are the bees. Looks like the eyes and the da 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 da. All color coded. That's kind of nice. That's not, eh, it's kind of a, I guess, an interesting way to do it to have them the different letters color coded. And then we have our. This is these are all the bingo cards. I, I, I guess nice, nice size. Of course, this is all nice size for a tabletop game, but I wouldn't call it, you know, professional. They have a slight bend to them, so you're gonna have to get that bend out of there to keep the chips on here. So they come off falling off and everything. Oh, fuck ever. And I guess this is our 150 chips. And they're all tabbed together. So you got to sit and break these things apart like you're popping bubbles of bubble wrap. Jesus Christ, you couldn't just do a bag? Just to finish it off, why don't you give me a swift kick in the balls? And these are also different colors. So, it looks like these colors are supposed to coordinate. Oh, wait, no, they don't. What? Because we have clears that would probably represent the white balls. There's no red chips. We have purple. There are blue chips. There are green chips. And there's yellow chips. But this looks orange. So, mm, whatever. And the grand finale of them all. The hamster wheel. With the automatic ball selector. Now I'm kind of curious. Because <laughs> I don't understand how this thing works. To be fair. To be fair. I don't play bingo. But... Please stand by. Well, it seems as if we have the opening here. 
to insert said balls. Yeah, <laughs> this is where you put your balls in. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, you tumble them around. And while you're tumbling around, there's a little ball catcher here that I don't understand how it would be or does it latch? It does not. Where I believe your ball would come out. You know what? Let's just try this thing out. Why the hell not? I'm never using this again. So apparently with these balls you have to twist them off of the little holder. It's almost like you're doing a model car project. But what I'm noticing is you still you still get in little tabs. And look, they just fell right through. Did you see that? You get that on camera? You guys get that on camera? You insert the balls into the damn thing. And they can fall right through. I'll do a couple at a time, because <laughs> you gotta recreate that effect. Unless those are in the way. Oh look, one went right into the ball catcher. This is probably the worst bingo set I've ever seen in my life. Agreed. Close the cage, keep the hamster in there, and we'll tumble. Yeah, it's just automatically grabbing the balls. So, what I understand about most bingo setups is you're able to <laughs> do your tumbling and able to take one number at a time. But every time you turn this damn thing, it just catches a ball and spits it out. Well, what if we tried this? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's spin it the other way. And... Oh, look, they're staying in there now. All right. So it seems like you can get a good shuffle on your balls. And... Let's go back that way, and then you catch one, and... Oh, it dumps it out. Oh, well, maybe that's how it worked. Oh, yeah. Well, whoops. Whoopsie. Well, I guess that's the... B4. Does anybody have B4? Yeah, because I've never seen anything as ridiculous as this B4. That is... No, that was not intentional. The ball actually says B4. But I guess that's one way to do it. I wouldn't call it professional, um, especially since it doesn't come with fucking instructions, okay? You you just watched me sit here and do this and like I gotta figure out how this thing works. Because the box is too busy showing happy gene recessive white family uh, have too much fun with their master board of slavery. Instead of giving me a piece of paper that says, hey, spin it this way and then spin it that way to catch the ball. And it'll spit out eventually. It'll eventually catch one. It'll eventually catch one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, look. One fell out of the damn spinning cage. Absolute shit. I ain't fucking buying that. Regardless of its quality, I'm the new proud owner of the Deluxe Bingo 18. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shit. Like I said, we'll probably put it on the shelf back here somewhere. This is supposed to be a nice mystery unboxing video. And yeah, I can't say I'm satisfied with the product, but I am very satisfied with the mystery because I definitely did not order this. <laughs> but it's here. And it's here to stay. It's not like I can take this thing to the pawn shop or anything. And I can't re-gift it because I've already taken the damn balls off. <laughs> I'm not a re-gifter, don't, 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 don't attack me. But I'm going to hang on to it. That's something kind of interesting to have around, I guess. Something I'll never use. Hell, I don't know. Maybe when I'm older and ready for death, I'll end up inviting some friends over and we'll play some bingo. But 
that's the mystery unboxing video. Don't worry, I got I got some more reviews coming. I got a couple things I'm looking at. This is a test video. I'm just uh, try to make sure things are back up and running operational. I had to do a hard reset on my computer. Um, just wanted to make this video to test things out. Um, so please stay tuned with us. Please click like and subscribe. I got more madness coming. I got better madness coming because I do it for you people, man. And I do it for free. And I kind of enjoy it. Please click like, subscribe, help a brother out. Please donate to the Cash App if you choose to. Help me out. Help me buy some equipment. Chat. Mm -hmm.